Hello, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I know this video is not going up on Valentine's Day, but it's Valentine's Day when I'm filming this, and this is technically for February, so happy Valentine's Day. Anyway, not that it matters, except I gave us a little pink background on our star hot board, and we're going to be using a heart to move around the board today. Okay, so I think I'm out of the way for everything. I can still manipulate the heart, which is the main part of this whole thing. And I'm going to pull up a little dice thing to do all of our rolls. So we're going to be rolling a D6. And so I'm going to start with the first roll. Oh, a one. Great. I was hoping for a million books. <laughs> okay, I got a star though, which is my favorite genres. So we go over to Story Graph and I filter the list with my favorite genres. Okay, so I have fantasy, horror, mystery, romance, sci-fi, and thriller. I know you can't see them all, but that, that's what I have on here. And then I do my little filter, and I find the first book that's not already on a TBR. Okay, it is Nos for A2. Nos for A2? I don't know. Anyway, it's the vampire Nos for A2 story. Written by Joe Hill. This has been on my list for a long time and I have really been wanting to read it. I'm really happy that it popped up. Okay, fantastic. Let's roll again. A two. Are we serious right now? Okay, one, two. Another star, so that's great. So over on here, I just get to keep coming down and I have an appetite for murder. Okay, here we go again, third roll, a three. Are we serious? Is it gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, no! We have to go back to the beginning and I have to read a book over 400 pages. Okay, so I'm gonna check the thing that says 300 to 499. That's how we're gonna filter. There's not any genres, so it's everything. And then I go with earliest and I just have to find one that's over 400 pages. Okay, it is Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan, which is the first in a series, and it has 448 pages. Okay, now unfortunately, we're starting over. And I got a one again. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're back here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I've got my filters in for my favorite genres. And I have The Vines by Shelley Nolden. It does say it's historical, but it's also a mystery thriller. So, nice. Okay, we're back at spot number one. Please do not roll a two. Oh my gosh. So it should just be the next book. Wings of Ebony. <laughs> this is a YA fantasy and also the beginning of a series. Okay. If it's a three, I quit this game. Okay, good. It's a six. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's a sun, which means it's my less favorite genres or not my favorites. I have to take out my favorites. Okay, filter out, excluding my favorites. Earliest added. The German House. It is historical fiction by Annette Hess. Okay. I could use another six, maybe. Yes, I could use another six. But not a two. Oh my goodness. Okay, this black hole is supposed to take us back to the beginning. However, <laughs> this is going to be my sixth book for this. And I don't like to even do, I mean, I don't like to go over five. No, one, two, three, four, five. This will be my seventh book for this. So I am only going back to this one. Okay? And then I am going to pick a book over 400 pages. Okay, exactly 400 pages, We Are Not Free by Tracy Chi. Okay, here we go again. Ugh, a four, okay. One, two, three, four. At least it's my favorite genres. Okay, I've got Sex, Murder, and a Double Latte, Sophie Katz, Murder Mystery, number one. Okay, here we go again. I'm so scared. Anything but a one is what I was thinking, but I didn't want to say it out loud. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Last one is a non-fave. Y'all, I didn't land on a moon a single time. So let me go pick my last book. Okay. After the German House is The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Zepetis. Zepetis? 
I know people have read a lot of her books. So, another historical fiction. Wow. Let me let me get all these books together in a in their own spot. Wow. Just looking at all of these books together is a lot. Anyway, it's nine books. It's not that difficult, except, uh, anyway, I'm behind already, as if you couldn't tell from all the TBRs that are coming out. Who knew that I was going to have nine books? I had five books the last time I played Starhop, and it was great. <laughs> and now I have nine. Okay, I'm going to stop complaining about it, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to start a like read 24 in 48 hours or something like that and just see how many of these I can get through or not necessarily 24 and 48 but just take the next like 48 hours and see how many of not just these books but all the books that I'm behind on. I think that might be coming up next. Anyway, please let me know about any of these books. Nosferatu and The Fountain of Silence maybe because of the the author, those are the only two that I like have heard of and know why I put on this list. The others, I don't know. I don't know where they came from. I don't know why I chose them, but they're here. And um, so we're going to see what's going on with them. And that is going to do it for this one. Wow. Let's just cover that up so I don't even have to see all those books again. I <laughs> am going to go read apparently, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.